Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to copy over PSP games that you, you know, you ripped, that you downloaded, you know, how, whatever means you've used to get them, you know, nitrogen, and this video is for educational purposes and it does not condone piracy. I've got Loco Roco, which I, you know, originally own as well, ripped it myself. So to copy it over, it could be an ISO file or a CSO file, either one is fine. First of all, you need to make sure your PSP is running some form of custom firmware. I've got a video and I'll link in the description, I've got a video covering how to install custom firmware to hack your PSP on literally all PSP models and all PSP versions. So like if it's the ultimate video you follow that you're good to go you just need to be on the latest firmware which is 6.61 and then follow that video okay so once you've got that i'm just gonna just start recording my psp so psp go but it doesn't really matter which one and what you want to do now is connect it up to your computer with the psp go it's a specific proprietary cable which is annoying but the older PSP, it's a mini USB, so they're obviously probably a lot more readily available in your house. And then go to USB connection. And on the computer, you will see a folder pop up. For me, two popped up for the simple reason, because I've got a PSP Go, I've got internal storage, and I've got a memory card. If you've got another PSP, like PSP 1000, 2000, etc., only the one storage you know device will appear and that is your memory card you can do this method or you can take your memory card out and use some sort of adapter potentially some sort of hub and plug that into your computer either way as long as you can access it it's all good to go so it doesn't really matter which one you do if it's on psp go chances are if you've got memory card it's probably going to be bigger than the internal storage but you know feel free to do it whichever method you want to use so what you want to do is make sure you have in the root folder a folder called ISO. So all caps ISO. If you got if you've already got it, great. If not, just create it. You know, you can just you know new folder or if you're on Mac or Linux, it's the same process. So create this ISO folder and you literally just copy and paste this ISO, CSO, whatever format file it is onto here. So it's just copying over. Once it's copied over I'll just show you it working. So I would love to hear what games you are looking forward to playing first using this method. Let me know. Local Rope is one of my favorites. You know, I've got I'm looking forward to playing you know, the Grand Theft Auto games, so that's Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars a little later on as well. Another one what was that game? There was this I think it's Gangs of London. It, I'm pretty sure it has no affiliation with the TV show Gangs of London. Amazing show, by the way. Me and my wife love that. We watched that not long after getting married, which, which in all fairness, wasn't that long ago. It was on four months anyway, but not long after getting married. Oh, my God. Like, the intensity of the firefights, I feel like that's more accurate. I've, it was over the top, but I feel like it's probably more realistic than some movies and tv shows is a tv show but i think it's more realistic than some movies and tv shows because you're not being paintballing it's obviously not a real firefight but i've been paintballing and when those paintballs are going around and they hit and stuff you know it is intense i can only imagine what a real firefight with real guns real bullets is like real explosions probably a bit more like that okie dokie yeah games of london that game they don't think they ever did a getaway for PSP, Little Big Planet. Oh, that's an amazing game as well. Plus some, um, obviously, some old school PS1 games. I'm literally going to create another video after making this one. And that will cover how to install or how to copy over PS1 games to your PS to your hacked PSP. And let me know if there's any other really, really, you know, hardcore videos or, you know, Know, videos that you really want for PSP sort of modding as well because I'll be moving on to PS3 after that okay so that has now copied over let's switch back to our PSP so now that we've got the PSP open if I press if I go back if you took out the memory card just plug it back in if we go over again I've got two different ones 
first, you know, one's internal, one isn't. Let's see which one put it on. I, nope, it was not on this one. It would have been on this one. Loco Roco, there we go. And that's it. Just waiting for it to load so you can see it. And there we go. As you can see, it has loaded. So only computer entertainment Europe presents. I'm saying it about the Crash Bandicoot. And that's it. So I'll just quit. So that is how you copy over ISO and CSO games, PSP game. If you have any questions, I highly recommend that you check out the NPS browser, which shows you how to acquire games. But you know, like I've said, this video is not condoning piracy, it is for educational purposes. I recommend only doing it with games that you, you know, own as well. Obviously, you'll have a PSP if you've got it hacked. You know, that's my or you know recommendation to stay on the legal side. I'll provide a link in the description to the video for setting the custom firmware up plus the nps videos so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop a message on the discord group in the psp channel and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video